a DNS. What is a DNS? Domain name system. Okay, so the port number DNS port number is 53. What DNS name will do? DNS server will do. So simple we can say, okay. This is a DNS server. Okay, just very simple way I'm trying to tell. So this is my DNS server. Okay, and here is my clients. Here is my clients are there. So these clients, uh, some client, whatever it is, the PC. So type uh, some name. Okay, for example, um, uh, for example, in their browser or something like that. So like a um, Vedic.com. You want to know? Uh, sorry. S1 dot uh, Vedic dot com. Okay. So they know the name, but they don't know IP address of this server. I have a uh, S1 server is here. Okay. So this is a for example S1 server. S1 server. It is in a domain. Okay. So this is also having a some IP address, right? So this is also having a some IP address, for example, uh, 192.168.0.151. For example, just for example, that is a IP address of this server, S1 server. I put a S1. So in my browser, for example, that is a, some kind of web server or something. Okay. So I don't. I want an IP address for this one. I want a IP address of this one. I want IP address of this server so i don't know so i have to send a request to my dns server and uh, when i send a request for a dns server for ip address i want s one's ip address i want s one's ip address so to send to dns server in dns server check the records it has a records it will check the record so somewhere it will find s1 is something ip address is there like this okay like a 151 151 ip address then it will send this record means the ip address to client ip address of yes one we are get it this ip address okay now i got ip address now i will go to server that's whatever the request uh, what are the communication I want to do it? Like for example, I'm pinging. I'm pinging. Ping to S1. Okay. Ping to S1 dot Vedicsav.com or Vedic.com, whatever it is, the domain name. Okay. So when I put it, so the request go to DNS server. First, I will take the IP address. Once I got an IP address, then I will communicate it to this S1. So that is the use of DNS server. If you give a name, you will get an IP address. But how do you know <clears throat> guys my voice is clear yes sir okay. yes sir Good. Uh, how do you know uh, which what is your dns server how do you know which one is your dns server you don't know right so how do you know what is your dns server in a network configurations means you know that an ic configuration is there now so there right click status details you go so you will get ip address subnet mask and default gateway and dns address this is uh, your dns address so whenever you put a name automatically the request go to this pc so this ip address is belongs to this pc only so it will communicate to this pc with the request is yes one 53 port number so automatically dns server understand so they are asking about uh, ip address for this name so they it will give the ip address to client and the client will communicate it to that particular pc so this is how it works okay this is a very simple way to understand uh, what is a dns server okay so this is my client
this is my client cmd if you like you can change the font size also that's it's okay okay so i'm thinking to my uh, cts uh, to win s1 see i got ip address first then only pinging i got ip address first then only pinging for example i know the ip address i can communicate right i can communicate but if i don't know the ip address then i will ping with the names only i'll ping with the names only so that is what we call a dns okay first one second um dns naming system dns uh, is an internet scheme and in internet also for uh, we are using dns local we can use a dns and also in internet wise you can able to use the internet for example this is youtube.com maybe i will use some other things like uh, this is a double three w3 schools.com right so or maybe i will use uh, this one tutorial points like okay java t point gmail amazon any 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 website i will uh, use it so then I, I am using an ip address only i am using an ip address only okay but uh, i am using sorry i am i am communicating with ip address only but i am using names only you know last time someone is uh, asking question and then also there is a, a simple example is your mobile phone contact list mobile phone contact list mobile contact list right so i will save your uh, numbers like this so something like uh, for example aditya so i'll put a uh, aditya uh, b2 2021 so this is my contact list and here are some numbers okay i type in some number only okay uh, again i have to check it if i want to change number so make sure that 10 numbers something it's not required like that but for understanding, like I put a one number, Adich. Um, so people who usually um, contacts, so Gaurav, so he has some number. So I'm going with uh, some number. Okay. Um, I just I didn't remember your names also. The Rasham is also there. Right? So Rasham some number some number, right? So when I want to call or when I want to send a message, so what I will do? What you what I will do? So I will open the name and I will call, right? But in your contact list. In your contact list it will dial the actual phone number only when i try to send a message to uh, a person like automatically it will send a message to uh, their num respect to a number only right so this is for remembering like this is for to make a list of a person name and a phone number so then i no need to remember all the phone numbers of everyone right so in my uh, earlier days, we have a very less phone numbers. Are there like a father number, sister number, my number, one or two numbers only, right? So this is a common numbers we can remember. Okay, uh, I remember my uh, father number, uh, old number only. So new number also I don't remember. That's your number I don't remember. <laughs> okay, my mother number, old number uh, is okay. That is okay, good. But uh, again, new number is so my sister has two phone numbers. One number I remember only that is only if i see that one only i will remember daily order so i will call directly so i will call dad that's it call dad 
called a new so like a called geo that geo's phone number or uh, uh, airtel phone number or bsnl number like that you know so uh, I, uh, I i use to make a call message or uh, uh, anything like name right so i open the name and then automatically it is mapped to a phone number so phone number actually communicating not based on a name right so in a telephone department or a mobile phone department so they don't maintain your names they will maintain your phone numbers only phone to phone phone number to phone number communication is there not name to name communication but in your mobile contact list how your names and phone numbers are there same thing as we can tell an example of dns this is for a example only okay example mobile phone contact list just for an example yeah okay this is a randomly type numbers So this is a, one of the example of DNS. So remember this example also because last batch they got this question also. Comparing mobile contacts to that one. So how do you tell mobile DNS kind of stuff? Okay, so like this. Next one, uh, next one is, uh, here it is. Same thing happens in internet, but in internet there is a big hierarchical structure is also there. This is a hierarchical uh, uh, part of your dns kind of stuff okay so i will go to this part again uh, in a, in a, there is a lot of things to discuss uh, combinedly so i will tell you in a one single example only so where is this hierarchical one like this this is the hierarchical part of uh, dns so root level domain top level domain second level domain sub domains and uh, uh, fqdns already i told about fqdn so we'll see that one again so here it's a big story guys so you have to keep uh, properly like this is my pc my pc this is if you are in the internet so what happens if you are in a internet so what is it? this is my pc okay here it is i type a a website for example bocs or a technet technet.microsoft.com technet.microsoft.com okay technet.microsoft.com i typed it in my browser so like technet dot my okay it is already i've opened earlier so automatically change to English yes because I didn't specify anything so this is a uh, automatically convert into redirect into divorce yes but uh, like that so just for understanding okay technet.microsoft.com I put it in a browser what will happen what will happen in my browser I have a catchy means if I search previously if I search previously so in my bra in my browser so in a um, dns cache or a, a, a cache wise it is show, stored right so in a temporary or a cache in a temp internet temporary or a cache wise uh, the ip address will store right so ip address it's such ip address in a cache in browser cache browser cache or a history okay uh, dns history it will try to uh, get it from there okay how to see the cache thing so go to cmd um, ip config slash um, display dns let it go on go on go on so this is every every thing um it is not going in a starting point only okay so but it is okay so a lot of things is searching and these are a uh, fixed uh, registrations are there also because this is a uh, my pc my physical pc we can't do anything so ip config 
uh, slash display DNS because this is a PC, so very less. See, uh, Alara showing uh, my server list only. See if you can see like this. Okay, like this. So it stores these caches. For example, uh, okay, I am going to remove RP config slash flush DNS. So now display DNS. See, it is gone. So these are the two commands to this to do see the uh, IP config display uh, DNS to display the what are the catchy things are available and IP config flush DNS to flush out the all the DNS records. Okay, so flush out the all the DNS records. So in this DNS catch here uh, inside of browser means already I'm used earlier. It is not cleared. So then what happened? So I will try to get IP address from here only. You know when you got any network related issues, why you always trying to open a Google or a try to ping to the Google.com for understanding what is the issue of uh network why we are doing because that ip address already there in a our pc because in a cache mode it is there already we keep on using google.com more so obviously it is very easy to find that ip address from your system itself so second one is it try to search if it is not find in a cache it will try to search in a one file the file location is slash host slash etc slash host this is the file location in the Linux, directly Linux or Unix. Okay, so uh, our Unix, this is the file, is a static file. So we can put uh, your name and IP addresses. IP address and name, we can uh, put it in here. Same file will be available in Windows. In Windows, location is C. This slash right three windows system thirty two slash drivers slash etc slash post file post is a file. This is the location of a uh, file. Okay. Okay. So you can you go for this one? Okay. So you can search uh, for a host file also. This host file uh, in a, in a, your Windows C colon slash Windows BTC folder. So this is a location, and host is a file. Dot bak file is there. That is mean backup file. You can open with notepad okay so like this name and ip address earlier i used one uh, system like with a uh, linux system only sent wall c uh, example.com so i register for a uh, communicating to this server with a name not with ip address not with ip address i want to communicate with a name but i don't have any uh, dns servers to communicate with that one with a name right so what i what i done i took this uh, file and i edited the name of the server oh, sorry name of the server and ip address of the server i put it here so next time when i communicated to this one automatically i can communicate with the ip address if i send an ip like that i will get this one okay now it, it is not there you won't get it but I'm showing that thing to sent twelve c dot example dot com. So I got an IP address from here only. Where I, I, I okay, of course the server is not there. Okay, so the server is not there, but I got a IP address from where I got an IP address from this list only. This is a static record of my. Uh, uh this is a static card which stores in your local pc only this is static card and it stores in your 
local PC only. Okay, so like that. Okay, stores in your local PC only. So this is a static record of name to IP addresses. Name to IP uh, sorry IP name is there. So if you give name, you will get the IP address. Of course, we are not using this static card because of in the world there are so many domains are there for everything you can't put uh, into your local host file, right? And that too, lot of systems are there. For example, hundred systems are there. Can you go to hundred systems and update everything into the hundred systems? We can't do it. Okay, but in a certain purposes, like I showed that purposes we can do it like you have a server in your network in your own network and uh, the server or a system you want to communicate with IP name instead of communicating with the ip address so you can put that information in, inside of that file okay so this is about host file so it will search in a host uh, also if it is available and also you can go like you know uh, earlier days like uh, we try to uh, blog this facebook.com for uh, some people not for us for some people okay like uh, for us students uh, mainly for counselors working in uh, organizations so while okay so what we done so we put a 127.0.0.1 like this what happened so it's 127.0.0.1 is your loopback address or local host address only right so what if I, when the user put a www.facebook.com first it will check in a catchy we clear the catches plus dns plus dns to clear the catchy so we clear the catchy okay then we add this thing into host file so when they put it in the catchy they didn't find they go to host file the request go to host file and we are giving a local only it means what happened you know you don't like a person to do something like right? what do you do give a wrong direction like you have a friend and you have a secret revenge you want to take it so he got he asked one uh, uh, one direction like uh, what we can say a advice from you so like uh, how to go to some place like uh, how to do you know that girl's address then what you do so i know very good that uh, address so go to this line and take a left and take a right something you given a wrong address so what happened that guy believe in you and you, uh, he go to that path and you never reach the uh, actual location so like that you can give a wrong address here so we don't require any software to block a particular website so very simple clear the catchy first clear the catchy uh, flush the dns okay remove all temporary files from the browsers and go to this host file add this line like this that website never open uh anyway okay so you don't require any software to block the ip addresses also to block the um, thing just give the wrong address that's enough so this is internally what happens what happened externally every pc has uh ip address right so every pc having a ip address ip address is there subnet mask is there all other things are there so we don't have a space here so it's very simple every pc also ip address and everything also a dns uh, server address is also there right prefer dns that's we call it as a preferred dns some ip address is there for example my ip for my system this is my dns server address that is my local dns server address okay so for example this is my local dns server address okay so what happened the request is sent to here did not find any catchy not in a host file then what happened the request is sent to local dns server okay request sent to local dns server what is the request is uh, okay we have to inclination angle won't come here so we can uh, we'll put it like this so take net dot um, microsoft dot com so uh, i check i change small because it's a very big one okay so it will be lengthy take net dot microsoft dot com ip address i want a 
technet.microsoft.com IP address to your DNS server. So usually like you can say it's a local DNS server within your network. Okay, it is your local DNS server. So for separation of this matter, I put a, this one, so don't worry. Okay, so I request to local DNS server. Local DNS server also don't know. Local server is just forwarding the packets only. What it will do, it will forward the information to your ISP provider's lock DNS server. Okay, this is usually ISP's DNS server. Okay, ISP's DNS server. In general, what it will do, it will forward this request to your forwarder. So what they will maintain, they will maintain a forwarder. Actually, I took, I type ISP because generally I'm telling so actually this is not a this, this is called a for order this name of dns server this is also dns server only but name of the dns server is forwarder forwarder okay now what is this forwarder contains what is the data in this forwarder contains okay so what is this contain there is a server called a root domains are there there is a server called a root domains when you observe any website or a domains so last is a dot is there last dot is there okay so last dot is there so we have to search in a reverse order dot com microsoft technet like that first is come dot com first is dot com dot com dot microsoft that uh take technet like that this is called a root dns this is called a root dns servers okay this is uh, almost like a 13 uh, dns servers are there in the world worldwide root dns servers so it is searching uh, it will take time okay so root dns servers so we have to get a uh, root dns server like a so there is a 13 root dns servers are available so remember 13 root dns servers are available why it is also there maybe there are increased 16 21 okay so as per the up to now knowledge is there is a 13 root dns servers are there if you go to ayana dot uh, like that so these people are maintaining ayana i can is maintaining root dns servers who will maintaining ayana i can maintaining this root dns servers okay so it is a dns servers there are also so many dns servers so 13 root dns servers i said no so like this dot root root dns server another dot root dns server another dot root dns server the dns servers root dns servers ip address is there inside in this forwarder what is the forwarder having root dns servers ip address it's also a dns server root dns servers also dns servers forward is also dns server what is the forward dns server having so root dns servers ip addresses are there so there is a like a a b dot b like this it is actually it's like uh, there okay forwarders uh, so okay, like this it's like this some example like a root dns server j is uh ip address is this one okay k l m which one is maintained is a very sign dependency i can is maintaining this server l um, wide protect is maintained by maintaining this one so you can see here okay so just for fun you can go through once like if you search it now so if you're you need a self-interest to learn things everything someone should teach like that you can see like this a server b server c server like a to m servers are there okay how many are there like uh, three four five six 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So totally 13 root DNS servers are there. And uh, if you see, they have a, some are having a IPv6 address also. Some are having a IPv4 address only. Okay. NASA maintaining, E maintained by NASA. E maintained by NASA. USC IS, ISI maintaining mm -hmm. this one. US Army Research Lab maintaining this H. I can maintaining this one. US DOD NIC is maintaining this one. Okay. Uh, Maryland, University of Maryland maintaining this one. So these are all root DNS servers. Here again, this is a root DNS servers IP address maintained by means the forwarder having root DNS servers IP address. Forward having root DNS server IP address. So what is this IP addresses? Just for example. For example, this is A or B or something. A. Okay, this is A. What is this A contains? Dot com address. Dot comes IP address. Okay. Dot net IP address. dot org ip address okay all 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 top level domains dot in actually some people said dot in is not a top level domain but just for a we can lot of things are came up uh, you know dot movies also came up dot movies uh, ip address and uh, dot pk TK, TK, just a TK. IP address. Okay. Um, dot TV. IP address. Now live TV sir came up. Right? That's why I put a dot movie, dot TV, dot live. Okay. Dot org, dot net, dot com, like that. So usually when we talk about dot kind of stuff. We talk about dot com is the main thing commercial websites extension is dot com dot org organizations organization by dot org okay which organization like a ngo type of organization or some organization by dot org dot net is a network wise like uh, different organizations within a network like that in means india in generally we understand in means india dot co dot in like a co sub Domain it is co in subdomain it is gov dot in government dot in gov dot in again in is a main and under in gov is there lot of govs are there so that's why in the in is a main one under in sub is a gov dot co dot in under in co is there like that okay so different domains are there like if you want to see so different domains like you can see domain re registration web uh, you can go for it okay so you can go to domain registration like a good id uh, so many are there shop e5 also there big rocks good id uh, in dot good id dot com so like you can type anything uh, i put a uh, something let me take net actually this is it will give you list of things dot net dot com it is a uh, for a commercial usually like uh, add both for this one so you know someone is started net someone is started com like that so if you avoid that one you have to pay more this is for a one year price dot com take let us app no it's like you can also more suggestions you can able to get it so dot net dot net dot net okay because of this is dot com dot net i am searching but if you are search in a wider range so then also you can find it okay so like in that way. online live same only but i am searching in a different place you see it is dot com dot net dot in is a less dot online is very less 99 only dot live 
dot store dot club dot tech dot biz dot email dot today okay dot tech dot life okay so different type of websites different way of presentation of things so then we will get a thing okay so this is for registration so actually we have to register with your ayana i, I can only but these are also is a third party people so what happened if you registered with this one you will get other facilities like you said two free email including every name and register every every name you are uh, registered like that you can two email ids you will get it some are will give you free hosting or a hosting plans also added and uh, when you register a domain name they register this name to actual place only like this okay so it is become more big line so i'll reduce this one understand this is a root dns server having a top level domains the domains ip address again for example i am telling all our example for example and uh, going on like this right so this is thing okay for example um, again uh, for example this is a dot com this is a dot com only one only i am taking okay dot com microsoft dot com and their ip address okay microsoft.com ip address information store in a dot com dns server in dot com dns server um, google.com okay google.com ip address okay. uh, for example facebook.com Uh, anything uh, w3 schools dot just the space is there that's why i put another one so different dot coms are there so all these dot coms ip addresses stores in the dot com so then what happens here so again from the starting so here i send a request to my local dns server because of this is IP address of my local DNS server. I send a request to local DNS server. So local DNS server receive a request and you don't know what is the IP address of technet.microsoft.com. You don't know the IP address of technet.microsoft.com. So what it will do, it forward the request to the ISP. Maintaining lot of DNS servers. One of the server name is forwarder. The name of the server is forwarder. What is this forwarder's DNS server contain? Root DNS server's address. Different root servers are there. It contains so many addresses. Then what happens? So this forwarder, this forwarder ask this root DNS server. This root DNS server. Hello, do you root DNS server? I want dot com address. I want dot com address. Sorry. I'll type like this. I want dot com IP address. I want dot com IP address. For example, it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We have seen already. Okay. Same thing. Big list is there. It contact A. So it contact A like this okay it contacts a actually instead of putting a arrow mark i have to put a arrow mark here so it contacts a okay this is also dot like that so many are there okay so it contact a and get a dot com ip address now it is written the ip address of dot com it written the ip address of dot com now now what i got dot com ip address now i got dot com ip address okay here in in the dns in this one only in this one only in this one only okay okay i got a dns dot com ip address so what it will do it contact dot com it contact dot com it asks question now i got a ip address dot com ip address 
dot com server ip address i got it now i go to the dot com i go to the dot com then i ask i need a ip address of microsoft.com i need a ip address of microsoft.com to the dot com server so what it will do it give ip address what it will do it give ip address of microsoft.com so we have to arrange it for understanding level okay so now we understand okay so this is find out dot com ip address and it contact dot com server dot com server having lot of names and their ip addresses right microsoft.com google.com facebook.com uh, java.com oracle.com <laughs> okay uh, like that so it can it contains so many dot coms right so so like that so it will find out microsoft.com and their ip address it found it got ip address now what it will do this is a microsoft.com so we, we are not in a same order i need a more space in a bottom okay <laughs> this space is not enough now again again it contact uh, microsoft.com it contact microsoft.com microsoft.com has their own dns server right so they are also maintaining now subdomains for example okay so microsoft.com this is a uh, which, which server it is ms.com server so here it is maintaining technet is a host is a host ms.com maintaining so it contains ip address right just for example for understanding level that is enough okay we have a so it send a request it send a request like what is a ip address of technet.microsoft.com ip address it send a request to microsoft.com technet.microsoft.com ip address okay technet.microsoft.com ip address it will ask for the microsoft.com directly so if in case we have a separate list so then we got a ip address of that one okay we got a ip address now finally finally we got a ip address of technet.microsoft.com so what happened of course this is a two way communication sending getting back so that is we have to draw two lines but two lines thing will uh, give you more uh, clumsy on a screen that's what i'm not doing so here i'm writing so finally my dns server means my isp dns server find out the full address of technet.microsoft.com so it will give ip address to the server so this is a, a technet.microsoft.com request okay so i got a ip address to local dns server what local dns server will do it send a request to it send a information to send an information to our system now my system got an IP address of technet.microsoft.com. Now I got IP address. Then what I will do? I will communicate that server. Okay. So like uh, where it is located. So this is for example, uh, server name is so technet.microsoft.com. This is my server. Now I got a finally I, uh, thing, right? So I will communicate directly to it i will ask for request a page whatever the thing final communication is happening so see guys so when i started from here when i started uh, from here so it will search in a browser cache if i already done or maybe it will search in a 
host file if anything is there if not there it i will ask my local dns server about what is my dhc my what is the ip address of technet.microsoft.com so and finally i will send the uh, the D local dns server also don't know ip address of technet.microsoft.com so then it will forward the query to forwarder so usually isp provider maintain a lot of dns servers cache dns or lot of dns servers are there there is a certain server's name is forwarder in the name of the dns server is forwarder the forwarder has the list of ip addresses of root dns servers so almost all in the world there is a root dns servers from a to m okay root dns servers is from a to m okay so a b c like that up to m so some may may not we cannot able to communicate but a to m total 13 total 13 root dns servers are there okay 13 total root dns servers are there okay so for example uh, i contact one of the roots and uh, one for example a and in a i have a a b c d i have dot uh, com dot net dot org like a top level domains top level domains information this is called a top level domain information is available in the root dns servers like a dot com dot net dot org like that so we have a top level domains so find out dot com address and i got a dot com address now i contact a dot com uh, server i contact a dot com server this dot com server maintain so second level um, domains second level domain addresses it maintains second level domain address means after dot com what are the names are there it will maintain like this see top level domains second level domains it is maintaining okay so first my forwarder understand it ask i want a dot com address it got a microsoft.com so it contact dot com for a microsoft.com so it got a microsoft.com ip address now i got a microsoft.com ip address then i will contact microsoft.com dns server i want technet.microsoft.com ip address and finally i got microsoft technet.microsoft.com ip address and i will forward that information to local dns server local dns server to my pc so my pc now i have a ip address of technet.microsoft.com now i will contact that server directly so this is is a okay this is about your total dns functioning so root dns server having a information of top level domains like a .com .net .org. these top level domain servers having a information of second level domains like a microsoft.com google.com facebook.com sent os org that is org dot org right sent os org like that so these second level domains also may have a uh, naming servers for a subdomains so that subdomain information available under this one only this is a subdomain okay. so once again we'll go to this ppt you can see total actual uh, uh, contact name is server one dot sales dot south dot contoso dot com if i explain that entire big tree in a fast starting only so then you will forget uh, all the things so that's why i took only uh, one part of thing only. okay you can see this is a root domain root domain has the information about dot com dot org dot dot net so that is a root domain and in a dot com i have a information means ip address of contoso dot com like that so, right i contact contoso dot com for a contoso dot com ip address i found ip address of contoso dot com in dot com server then i go to the dot com server find out different subdomains are there west south east 
different subdomains are there so i found out the subdomain like a south like here it is you can see dot com dot com so south then sales sales is a another uh, subdomain finally i found the host name is server one dot contoso dot com so server one dot sales dot south dot contoso dot com dot so like that it will be there so this is you can understand the each level of uh, domain levels so this is the hierarchical uh, structure of uh, dns in the existing environment so this is a namespace kind of stuff dot com dot com dot com dot local dot com dot corporate dot local so like namespace if you understand no problem but i even for explanation also it is difficult understand this part next this is also same set uh, like a uh, server role dns server dns zone dns client dns client dns client server and zone kind of stuff okay this is very different one yeah, what we are discussed that is here only actually this is a resolver means our pcs this is where uh, dns servers records and uh, source record like this it is root.com hu so then we have to search find out and resolve it this is about queries there is a two type of queries are there one is uh, um, iterative query another one is uh, recursive query one is a iterative query uh, another one is a recursive query two type of queries are there in a dns but i don't know whether they will go to this much depth or not okay uh, so i will tell what is this simple i am asking someone this is so we'll go to this my edition okay so i am requesting from here to here right and also a requesting you know both this time i am requesting full one technet.microsoft.com from here to here also technet.microsoft.com and i got an ip address of technet.microsoft.com ip address only this type of query we called as a recursive query recursive query what is recursive query like ask you a question and you give me an answer whether you know don't know that's a different thing whether you search for an answer and all that is my not my point i ask you a question you give me an answer so right so that is called rec uh, recursive query i ask a full question techna.microsoft.com ip address i got a ip address of techna.microsoft.com that's it so that is called a recursive query here it is a iterative query what is iterative query first i found dot com address first i found dot address then i go to dot com address then i go to my uh, then i find a dot com address in dot com i found microsoft dot com address and again i went to microsoft dot com and finally i found technic that dot microsoft dot com means this is a part of answer like i ask one guy like uh, do you know uh, about this information he given a uh, sir uh, i will go and search for an answer like uh, he asked some guy and he, he he got a one part of answer again he go to another guy he got some part of answer he go to another guy he got another part of answer finally we got a total answer so this query we call it as a iterative query iterative query okay what is the iterative query um, um, so part of answers part of things like a dot com dot dot com microsoft dot com technet dot microsoft dot com like part of answers we are getting that is called a iterative query next other day to response and non other day to response guys we have a ppt so that's why i'm not writing anything on there so other day to response and non other day to response what is other day to response the response came from original server this is a other day to response the response from the actual server called a other day to response i got a response from here this is non other day to response if i got a if i found ip address in cache browser cache that is non other day to response if i got a, a response from host file non other day to response 
if i got a response from my local dns server or cache dns server local dns server or a cache dns server if i got a response that is non authoritative response if i got a ip uh, response from original server original server means this microsoft.com i got a response from microsoft.com that is called a authoritative response this is about these responses okay this records will come back to the records okay see this is a forwarder this is the diagram actually what i have written a diagram that is recursive query recursive query iterative query iterative query iterative query in recursive query mail1.contoso.com and client got i client directly got like this right is this earlier uh, screen writing is there that is now changed uh, now it is a snipping tool is game so that is a uh, full screen snipper okay so so screen writing is there earlier like we can write on a screen directly so once you say okay then automatically uh, we can remove it so like if you see this one okay i will write on this one so okay, okay these are all dark colors only choose a green color okay this is the client guys this is the client client want to search for mail1.contoso.com it send a recursive query to local dns server local dns server giving a response of ip address this is called a recursive query so we'll forward the things okay so it ask mail1.contoso.com ip address so local dns server don't know so what it will do it forward the information to forwarder forwarder so this is also recursive query and forwarder so find out in a root hint about dot com address and he got a dot com address now it asked dot com what is a contoso dot com then it is finally go to contoso dot com asking about mail one dot contoso dot com ip address now this got a authoritative response you can see authoritative response from contoso dot com now we got a ip address of mail one dot contoso dot com uh, from forwarder got it so forwarder sent to local dns server ip address of mail1.contoso.com and the local dns server will forward a that information means ip address to your client the client will got a ip address finally so this is how it is works okay so this is a cache dns server this is a cache dns server okay so yeah this is a cache dns server so we'll go through the cache dns server once okay um, go back and i will show you a full screen uh, means slideshow this is a root hints for a root hints only root hints root hints means root dns server address root hint means root dns server address forwarder now can you see this is conditional forwarder we miss this part or what okay conditional forwarder uh, conditional forwarder means forwarder don't know ip address of a particular thing like a contoso.com or networktraders.com or atom.com or a uh you don't know the uh, um, means microsoft.com google.com like that we don't know ip address of a particular domain or a particular uh, system or host uh, ip address Na uh, name we know but ip address we don't know so what we do forwarder will search in entire tree find out dot com server search in a dot com server about dot com dot com ip address then uh, go to dot com find out microsoft.com and in microsoft.com find out technet.microsoft.com or docs.microsoft.com or uh, uh, virtualacademy.mva.microsoft.com uh, like that we have to find it right so that is because we don't know we have to search 
conditional forwarding conditional forwarding means i know the ip address of butler domain i know the microsoft.com ip address for example so i use conditional forwarding when local dns server or a uh, uh, local dns received a request like a www.contoso.com mail1.contoso.com pc1.contoso.com uh, web.contoso.com uh, file.microsoft.com something we got it that's okay so local dns server what it will do don't search in the entire hierarchy search directly in the microsoft.com i know the my uh, domain ip address i know the ip address of a particular uh, domain so what i will do so i will take the ip address i will add to my local dns server so that we call it as a conditional forward is don't search in everywhere search here only so that is called a conditional forward any queries belongs to contessa.com search with this ip address only forward the query to this ip address only don't search in a enter information that is called a conditional forward this is a catchy guys understand look at here very uh, good one this is so what happened uh, client a client one searching for a server a dot contoso dot com what it is done it searched finally it got a ip address of server a dot contoso dot com it finally got a ip address of contoso dot com next client to want to search same server a dot contoso dot com server a where is server a it got ip address from the dns server how it is got instead of searching everywhere because of this is a cache dns server cache dns server whenever your request is there like a, i'm searching for a different websites okay so i'm searching for a different websites or any website like google.com facebook.com or amazon.com flipkart.com gmail.com uh, like that i'm keep on looking at, at like a cloudxlab.com so what happened these queries will be resolved by in isp right isp forwarder all these things once it is resolved right once it is resolved it's stored in the cache for a certain period of time only not permanently certain period of time usually like a 128 seconds or a 256 seconds only it uh, it will store for a, a certain seconds only what happened meanwhile meanwhile someone search for example my isp provider your isp provider we are both in pune only our isp is same i search for some cloudx lab and you are also searching for a cloudx lab after i searched what happened so initially for example initially uh, your isp don't know ip address of cloudxlab.com what it will do it search an entire hierarchy it get the ip address it put it into the cache next time you are also putting cloudxlab.com so what happened you you will get a ip address uh, uh, automatically you will get a ip address uh, automatically from isp directly because of cache cache the cache stores the previous queries in the cache database but temporarily so meanwhile if anybody are uh, searching for a same website same uh, domain or a same host they are searching they will get a, a response immediately because of cache okay there are a lot of caches are there guys you know this is youtube right so where is a youtube server we don't know actually so maybe new jersey or new san jose maybe bangalore maybe singapore maybe china we don't have a relationship for a network sharing kind of stuff right maybe dubai so anywhere it can be there right so how much time it will take a response to stream it like you open a youtube some video you know earlier days what happened uh, when you open a new trial a trailer is released new trailer is released okay new trailer is released immediately people try to open so then automatically uh, you know that round round it is showing so what happened here why it is showing a, 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 this kind of stuff uh, because of the server is some 
long distances more load on server so then uh, it is slow response right it's a it's a it's a proportional right inversely proportional or directly proportional like a more load on a server the server response will be lower lower okay so that is what we proportional but if you see compared to old video compared to uh, uh, on demand uh, trailer kind of stuff like new movies release like uh, something uh, you know bahubali movies release like or maybe you know recently pawn kalyan movie released also i didn't watch i don't watch i don't want to watch so that is what different one but new movie like uh, what we can say uh, avengers movie release or maybe uh, hollywood or bollywood some movie release they launch a trailer everybody want to uh, exit like they want to see the trailer immediately more load will occurs then it is become slower so if it is a slower what we scroll either it is a the channel and second one is very important isp provider isp provider so we we'll blame like isp provider as a certain bandwidth but we don't get that actual bandwidth okay so that bandwidth twice he can't able to provide because it's a lot of burden on them also what they are doing they'll do caches first one is dns caches to faster response for a users second one is media caches so media caches are like i am accessing a trailer someone is also accessing trailer another one is also accessing trailer what happened the first time they load into the cache so once you access it is load into cache someone is accessing they get it from the cache that's why the faster they will get a response from isp so we feel we satisfy with the uh uh thing okay so that is the cache okay now oh six this is a subdomains guys okay so i'll uh, i will complete now so okay sorry okay root the domain uh, okay so this is a subdomain example.com example.com like this okay this is subdomains primary and secondary domains okay guys okay so it is i took lot of time i didn't see i thought it is not much time okay so this is a dns records first one is these are a dns records important go through dns records note down the records okay what is a 4as soa mx record as survey records c name uh, I, ptr record ns records okay next one is uh, sub domains and we will see that one uh, primary secondary stub and activity integrated next one is uh, forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone okay then uh, what is the stub zone here it is okay dns transfer okay so this topic is these things are pending okay as i said uh, pending topics are right here understand what is dns thing so has a hobby of giving it demo my my favorite demo topic is dns in a windows so dns okay so my favorite topic is dns not in windows it's general topic is dns in linux specifically my favorite topic is lvm in demos okay but i am not giving so so many years or but you are giving a demo kind of stuff okay so what are the pending i write okay um, dns records i have to take uh, care of dns records uh, lookup zones records important very important lookup zones are important and uh, zones are important okay zones important and primary secondary uh, zone transferring if possible okay and i said now if possible i will tell a thing so tomorrow we'll go through this one okay tomorrow we'll go through this one how to create a record creating records wise i will tell okay um, we'll see tomorrow guarantee so we'll tomorrow morning only we'll finish this server part all and kind of stuff okay so theory part is mainly completed theory is there compulsory guys till date whatever we complete active directory group policy and uh, ehcp so these things 
complete today, study today, and DNS also study. Already I forward these PPTs. Look at the PPTs. Okay, so then you will get it. Okay, so tomorrow we'll discuss uh, these things. Okay, <laughs> and example wise also you have to tell uh, DNS. What is DNS? What is DHCP? So practice that answering also. Okay, I'm going to stop. So I don't know.